Hello, this is Cryptos Chain from Simple Cryptocurrency Reviews and this video is sponsored by FTW, the first lottery project on the NEO blockchain with a wallet that offers your range of games as well as a built-in over-the-counter trading system. Visit ftwcoin.io for more info. Hello and welcome. This is a new episode of Simple Cryptocurrency Reviews presented by Cryptos Chain. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Seno. Seno is a project on the NEO blockchain with the ticker symbol Seno, the same as the project name. Now, we're on the website here, Seno.io, and we're going to go through a few details as we normally do when we review this project. So the first thing about Seno here, so disrupting the personal data industry. We create a decentralized ecosystem of personal data unification and monetization. Now, Seno in the media, you've got Forbes here, Finance Magnets that mentioned them, Hacker Noon, Investopedia, etc. Uh, key features of Seno. Now, personal data rewarding. So users are financially incentivized to share their personal data in the form of a single payment or an ongoing revenue share. Cross-platform data binding. So Seno bridges between off-chain customer data and blockchain data in order to create a complete user data map of multiple IDs. Now, blockchain distributed data storage. So a decentralized proprietary system that is capable of handling user permission and encrypted data for consortiums and public networks. The Seno token ecosystem. In order to acquire user data, advertisers will be presented with an interface which will allow data retrieval using a wide range of selected filters such as geolocation, age, gender, interests, expenses and more. The interface includes an API and a web-based module that allows advertisers to acquire user data and manage their account. For each data retrieval, the interface will check the advertiser's Seno account to ensure sufficient balance for the transaction, charge his account and distribute the revenue between the users who owns the retrieved data. And here we've got a diagram of how Seno, the ecosystem, is going to look. So Seno users will be here in the middle, for example, and then you've got the core application, sentiment analysis information, which goes to the users. Then they're being paid in Seno tokens, and they're sending that to the Seno ecosystem. Okay, this is how it's going to work. And then the hardware contributors are receiving the Seno tokens, which then goes to the core application again, and so on. And also the plugins and data collection tools also go to the core application, and they also get the Seno tokens. So that's how it's going to work. Now the current products. So Seno apps, using the Seno SDK, developers will be able to introduce sentiment analysis based applications like medical diagnostic apps, trading alerts, business intelligence, crowd wisdom, marketing campaign effect measurements, and more. And let's click on here. So the crypto scanner, this is the current product. So the first implementation of the Seno SDK on the platform is in the form of a real-time cryptocurrency market trading sentiment analysis app, which will allow receiving accurate buzz and mood indicators for every coin in any chosen time frame. Crypto Scanner will be open source and exhibit and exhibit the implementation of the user side module on the Seno network, including on-chain access over NEO to Seno smart contracts and access to semantic content, reports and analysis from decentralized cloud storage. Now, um, the Seno client, which is going to be on the mobile, so Seno will introduce the web and mobile applications which will provide access to its main features the wallet for holding and transferring NEP5-based Seno tokens, the management of hardware resource contribution to the Seno network, and the marketplace for developers, which lets them offer new features and plugin for the network and earn Sen tokens. Application market Seno apps, which will enable searching and downloading third-party applications, which are based on Seno's SDK. And here we've got a bit of code of the smart contracts and how it actually looks. So this is this is how it's going to be. You can access this if you're a developer, you'll be able to understand it more. Um, these are C-sharp files and the PY symbol stands for Python, which is another programming language. So that's how it's being developed. And you can view all that on GitHub. We're going to go to that towards the end as we normally do, just so we can review the uh, project updates and see how uh, when was the last update of this project. 
Um, now, so the roadmap. So we've got the Seno timeline. The birth of Seno started in January 2017. Um, the first POC approval was in April 2017. Announcement in November. Website and white paper in February 2018. Crowd sales started in March this year. Uh, the fully developed front-end offline sentiment analysis Seno token listing is going to be in this quarter. And in the last quarter of 2018, we've got the Crypto Scanner Alpha. Okay, that's going to be that tool that we spoke about earlier. And in Q1 2019, we've got the Crypto Scanner Beta, SDK and API release. And in Q2 of 2019, we're going to have the set Seno Network launch. Now the theme, so we've got Elad Peled, who's the founder, blockchain savvy and a serial entrepreneur, founder of Libratrade, a financial technologies company which developed the world's first smartphone trading platform in 2008, served at the elite IDF intelligence unit where he mastered his professional skills. So that's interesting. Now we've got Rudy Zakudo, who's also a co-founder and chief technology officer. So technology and blockchain expert with a deep understanding of the blockchain architecture, development of smart contracts for NEO and consensus algorithms, over 20 years of hands-on development experience with specialization in online marketing. Then we've got some um, R&D manager, blockchain development leader, .NET developers. These are all the developers. And uh, project managers, we can see the team is quite big actually. Looking at the team, yeah, it's quite uh, it's quite big. Now the partners, Smartologic, Oracle, Cryptosomnia, Capitalized Crypto, HD Capital from China, Hotbit, which is an exchange, a centralized exchange. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much how it looks. And down at the bottom here, we've got the uh, office address as well, Zeno Holdings LTD which is in Hong Kong. So that's where they are. And also we can see their LinkedIn page, Twitter page, Telegram, if you're interested, Reddit, Facebook, Discord, and GitHub. Now um, to look at the white paper. So I went and picked um, the thing that I find the most interesting from the white paper because there's a lot of technical detail in there. So if you are interested, I do suggest you go through it. But in this video, I'm only going to cover the uh, the important parts of the white paper. So the Zeno token, okay, so Zeno is the ticker symbol. The Zeno ecosystem is based on an open source cryptographic token named Zeno. Zeno is the underlying cryptocurrency that drives Zeno's semantic analytic platform. Zeno is an NEP5 token which makes it transferable and fungible. This consists of features that allow users to earn Zeno and use it to pay for services within the ecosystem. They can earn tokens by doing active work, for example, plugin development or passive work, sharing data from private channels. The usage and purpose of the token, so activity in the Zeno ecosystem is performed primarily using the Zeno token, making the token an integral part of the Zeno platform and the driver for its economy and its uses include rewarding the hardware contributors, which we've seen in the initial diagram, or sorry, remuneration for software developers and providers of network resources, payments to developers who provide sentiment tailored plugins, that have been requested and commissions for affiliates that send referrals as well as fees for the subscription, Zeno's crowd wisdom, data and API usage. And we've got deposits and withdrawals. So Zeno will be accepting contributions in Bitcoin, NEO, altcoins, credit card and wire transfers. Zeno will apply to be traded on all the major cryptocurrency exchanges. This is an important part here. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much it. Then we've got the Seno token contract. And one thing I wanted to read um, to you guys about from the white paper, which I also found interesting, is right at the top here, which is a, a short story of how Seno came to, um, to be born, basically, or to be created. So I have a dream for the web, and it has two parts. In the second part of the dream, collaborations extend to the computers. Machines became capable sorry, become capable of analyzing all the data on the web, the content, links, and transaction between people and supercomputers. A semantic web, which should make this possible, has yet to emerge. But when it does, the day-to-day -day mechanisms of trade, bureaucracy, and our daily lives will be handled by machines talking to machines, the intelligent agents. People have thought it for ages will finally materialize. So this was written by Tim Berners-Lee, Weaving the Web, from the book, right, in 1999. So this is basically what they're going to use as their, um, as their motto, let's say, in the white paper. 
And uh, also the other part that I'd like to cover is Zeno is the blockchain's first sentiment analysis platform with an open API for third-party apps. It utilizes distributed sentiment analysis and advanced artificial intelligence algorithms to create a real-time crowd wisdom ecosystem and sophisticated business intelligence analytics. Seno will re revolutionize the way decision making is made in the business and private sector. So this is really important. Uh, yes, yeah, so yeah, we can see that artificial intelligence guys is really going to, uh, you know, going to take over pretty much. I mean, we've got more and more projects that uh, I've been covering as well, which are you know, related with artificial intelligence. And it just shows you, you know, that we're really moving towards that step. Now we've got the GitHub here that I'd like to go through. So the last update that we've got is on the smart contract eight days ago. And the last update on their blockchain was on the 7th of August. So that's, uh, you know, two months ago. And the Zeno presentation, which was in July, so yeah, we can see there aren't many updates. I mean, most of these updates are done like once a month. They seem to be doing one big update once a month, but not uh, active updates, okay? So it is, the thing is, the project is moving a bit slow, in my opinion, okay? This is probably one of the cons that I've got to say. I mean, probably because, you know, they're, they're aiming to deliver this product by, uh, you know, Q2 of 2019. So, you know, there is some time left. So perhaps this is the reason why we're not seeing that many updates uh, in the last while. So yeah, we need to keep an eye on this project if you're interested and uh, check GitHub to see what the updates are and also their Telegram channel. The admins are quite active on there. So maybe um, you'll be able to get more information on there. I do suggest you check that and keep an eye out if you're interested in this project. Again, this is not financial advice. It's just my opinion. I'm exposing the project to you guys just so you know it's out there. And uh, yeah, have a look through if you're interested. Okay, guys, that's uh, that's all I wanted to cover. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and like this video. If you've got any comment or anything you'd like to say, please leave a comment below the video. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.